All right, so I just got off the Melinda and White project. I got the vest on and everything. I got to replace that. But um, one thing about uh, being able to go in here and see that we're about to start this project, the biggest part is that I noticed consistent work. Like that was the main thing that I was searching for when I was on the BCBG um, project off of High Park. I was working as a laborer through select staffing and I was there for a significant amount of time. I had to get a couple of good paychecks enough for me to be inspired to want to start my own company, right? Um, but at the same time, you can impress somebody for a lifetime in just five minutes. But um, I was um, I was on that site for a couple of weeks. When we came to a close on that project, I went and asked the superintendent. I said, um, "Would you would you be willing to take me on to your next project so I can continue working with you guys, keeping your sites, um, you know, maintained, keeping the hazardous." hazards out the way i was happy about the work that i did picking up behind people and cleaning up the site and making sure it looked good and you know what i'm saying just organizing stuff and on top of that it was like a workout for me because i used to pick up four or five stacks of um rebar the aluminum plywood thingies those suckers were like eight nine feet long i mean these things were big they were they were huge and they were pretty heavy i'm talking about six you know you got like ten of them stacked two of them sit like this and then it'd be like five rows of them and these things stretch out from here to yonder right and i used to pick them up and i carry them across the street didn't have no you know no um no forklift or anything but it drove me you know what i'm saying it, it made me feel good and then knowing you know i had a mentality a sense for it it was like it just grew but when i got turned down from the gc from the superintendent it was like well how do I keep this thing going? Select staffing throws me all kinds of jobs, but this is what I want to do. So how do I find companies that I can continue working with? And that was pretty much what took it off from there. So after the foreman's meeting this morning, you know, seeing my company on that piece of paper and seeing how those days were coming up, it was like I can only I can only resonate with that young with that younger me inside of me that was just looking at the days on the calendar, like how many days do I have here? You know, how much time do I have to prove myself? You know what I'm saying? And after those days are done and I prove myself, will I continue to do so? You know? So it's pretty magical to be able to go and look at what it is that I have ahead of me and then, you know, have moments where it was like, nah, it's gonna be consistent. And as long as you got the manpower, they gonna look towards me for their final clean from here on out, and that's what I came. That's what I seek out to do. I got about twenty people right now that's ready to jump on site tomorrow, and I want to make sure that all twenty of those people get on site tomorrow. And that's what's gonna happen, and we gonna dominate. We gonna do what we gotta do. I want enough people all at one time for us to all learn and gain from this experience that's about to take place for NSU and for me. So, this is about to be pretty dope. Yeah. I'm going to write a song about it. I might write a whole damn album about it. Yeah.